Hey Dragon Slayers! Today's video is about how to build a fasting lifestyle. First pillar is identifying your goals. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So what are you trying to accomplish with fasting is pivotal. Uh, Dr. Mindy can tell you the number of Q&A sessions she's done with her online community where someone asks her, what fast is best for me? Well, really for them. So she wishes that it was that simple. It all depends on what you're trying to achieve with your fast. Because each of the six fasts that she's outlined in her book has different healing effects, it's really important as long as you go, as you go to build a fasting lifestyle that is in line with what you want to achieve. <clears throat> it is, is it weight loss? Is it to have more energy? Just because she's laid out six different lengths of fast doesn't mean you will necessarily want to do all six. Typically, she finds women use fasting for three reasons, to lose weight, balance hormones, and or overcome a specific condition. So if you're trying to lose weight, as with many diets, it's common for women to lose weight very differently than men as they build a fasting lifestyle. For example, men can start fasting 15 hours a day and drop 30 pounds within a month. Women typically don't lose weight as fast. Dr. Mindy applauded couples who embark on lifestyle changes together, as it's much easier to do it with a partner, but when one loses quickly, it often leaves the other feeling deflated. The second thing to keep in mind when you go to fast as a woman is that you may need to lean into longer fast every once in a while. Like Dr. Mindy's mentioned before, Throwing in a 36-hour fast can greatly accelerate weight loss results, especially for women. Creating a, that deeper hormetic stress at the right time of your cycle can really turn the switch on your weight loss results. Just make sure that you are doing it at the right time. So for balancing hormones, many women have found fasting to be an effective tool for regulating hormonal conditions like PCOS, infertility, and menopause symptoms. For these conditions, fasting like a girl really shines. When you start to regulate insulin, you may find that your sex hormones balance out naturally. Having said that, keep in mind that your hormones are a bit of a moving target. So Dr. Mindy has a few recommendations for you. First and foremost, be sure to follow the protocols for the conditions that she outlines for you later. The second thing to remember uh, when your goal is to use fasting to balance hormones is to be patient. Dr. Mindy has seen it take up to 90 days of fasting like a girl to find a person's fasting rhythm. Certain conditions resolve quickly when you start to use the concepts of metabolic switching to your hormonal advantage. Others take time. Dr. Mindy has found that the longer a hormone imbalance has been with you, the more time it can take to resolve. But miracles can happen when you fast like a girl, so don't give up. With time and repetition, fasting will work for you. When it comes to hormonal imbalances, you may want to get a usury hormone, or sorry, a urinary hormone test like the Dutch test to determine specifically which hormones are out of balance and how you can best go about mapping your fast to fix those specific hormones. For example, if you know your estrogen levels are low, you might want to do a longer fast in the first 15 days of your cycle, whereas if progesterone is low, you want to make sure you're not fasting the week before your period. So for alleviating specific conditions, a lot of women want to use fasting to overcome challenges like autoimmune conditions, cancer diagnoses, diabetes, mood disorders, dementia, or Alzheimer's. Once again, 
Fasting can dramatically improve all of these conditions, although each has its own specific protocols to follow. Um, think of those protocols as fasting treatment plans. In her own clinical practice, she likes to use fasting as her go-to tool to help her patients. If you are suffering with any of the conditions that she's laid out for you, please be sure to follow the associated protocols that she goes that we'll cover in detail much later. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.